A new crop of Republican candidates are entering the speaker's race as we head into another week of voting and negotiation. This says Congress is unable to vote on key issues until electing a new speaker. Fox's Gurnal Scott has more. Nearly three weeks after the removal of former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, little progress has been made on finding his replacement. The GOP's razor-thin majority in the House means they need nearly everyone on board to elect a speaker. That's emboldened a small group of Republicans, since just a handful of no votes on the GOP side can sink someone's candidacy. Eight people seem to be the tail wagging the dog of over 200 people. Two would-be candidates, Majority Leader Steve Scalise and Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan, ended up withdrawing their names after not having the votes they needed, sending Republicans back to the drawing board. The standstill preventing Congress from taking any action on crucial issues like federal spending or approving aid for Israel and Ukraine. If we don't have a Speaker of the House, we can't govern. And every day it goes by, we're essentially shut down as a government. The world's on fire, and this is so dangerous what we're doing. Nine candidates filed to run by Sunday's deadline. The highest ranking among them, GOP Whip Tom Emmer, has already earned the endorsement of his former boss. This is not a time for a learning experience as Speaker. Tom would be able to walk into the job and do it. A secret vote with the GOP conference is scheduled for Tuesday. Congressman Mike Flood is encouraging Republicans to sign a unity pledge, promising to support whomever wins that vote. Gernal Scott, Fox News.